Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will talk about five mods that you can do on your inline six in the Jeep. So if you have a V8, this is not for you. So I wanna give a huge shout out to Pa for this intro that I've been using recently. It's really dope, I love it, and I really appreciate the work that you put into it. So thank you, Pa. So most of these mods I will be doing in the future on the Jeep, and most of them are relatively affordable and fairly easy to do. So let's go ahead and talk about number one. So one of the first mods I'm gonna recommend is from KFab Suspension, and some of these items will be available on his website, and I'll have them linked down below. The first one is the Viper Coil Mod, which is right here. That replaces the coil pack, and this helps so that whenever you have a misfire, you can check individually the plug, and it's about the same price, if not cheaper, than buying a whole new coil pack. And the coil pack that you have in your Jeep is probably old. You probably haven't replaced it, so might as well replace it with an upgrade. And I should mention too, if you haven't changed out any of these parts, definitely change them out and upgrade them. Since you're already gonna remove them, just upgrade them, get something better than stock. So the second mod that we are going to talk about are the injectors. So there are upgraded injectors on k suspension, four hole or 12 hole, and that replaces the stock injectors. So what that does is when the gas goes through the injectors, it atomizes. Think of more mist with the gasoline, that way when it ignites. From the research I've done, it gives you a little bit better gas mileage and also better throttle response. I'm sure your injectors just like mine are probably original to the Jeep and it's time to replace it so in a future video so just be on the lookout for that definitely consider that upgrade so the third modification that i will recommend for these jeeps in line six getting the injector and rail cover kit so these jeeps when you go off-roading the heat tends to stay in the engine bay and when you go to turn off the car and turn it back on it gets heat soaked so it doesn't really want to turn on good it's happened to me once before and the cover kit just goes over the rail and the injectors to prevent any heat soak in the injectors and it helps with the heat soak issue that these are known for and they're not even too expensive and for the benefit that they have it's worth it so number four we're gonna talk about the cooling system so the cooling system on these Jeeps are known to fail over time because on the side of the radiator they're plastic so I recommend upgrading those to a full metal uh, radiator when I replaced mine I didn't know about this mod so I went with the stock and it's been working fine I'm not gonna lie I mean it's new so I'm, I don't expect to have any issues anytime soon but I definitely do recommend upgrading to the all metal radiator and also another mod you could do for that I'll include it in this number four if you have the electric fan you can always add the clutch fan and have two fans uh, just as backup. A lot of people run that, especially when off-roading since a lot of people do tend to overheat. Now the fifth and final modification that I recommend to do on these Jeeps, this one, they have a kit for the V8 as well. Upgrade the wiring on your Jeep. So this is the big seven kit that I have here. This one is by jeepcables.com. You can check them out. So that's what I recommend since that's what I'm running. The cables on there are a lot thicker than the stock ones. And if you're running winches, lights and all that, better have a smaller gauge cable. That way more power could go through it. And you're putting less strain on these cables compared to the original. They're not gonna heat up as much. And yeah, I had no issues with this easy kit to install and I really do recommend it. And the reason that I changed it out is because I was having power issues with the battery. My Jeep was like turning off. I thought it was something else completely different, but it turned out just to be the battery cables so it's definitely one that i recommend so if you guys have any recommendations for the inline six or the v8 just leave them down in the comments below i hope this video helped you out on some of the modifications you could do to your inline six that are pretty simple to do and not too expensive and with that being said check out nodroffroad.com and i'll see you guys on the next video peace